everyone and welcome back to my channel today. I am so excited to take you with me as we set up my greenhouse from Quick Tent. I will include a link down below to the one that I purchased, but they also have a bunch of other size of greenhouses um, that I'm sure you would love and that you should definitely check out um, depending on what you guys are able to put in your house. But I am so excited because this one is a little bit on the bigger side. It's going to be about four feet by four feet and we're going to set it up here in my plant room. This side, I'll show you in a second, is just absolute chaos because I've tried to clear out everything and reorganize. And once we get this set up, hopefully the rest of the plant room will get a little bit cleaner. And so I will definitely give you guys a tour once we get everything set up. Um, but I wanted to get this greenhouse set up. So hopefully I measured out and cleared off enough space for it. Um, but this is perfect because it is end of December, almost January when I'm going to be starting setting this up. And so we're right in the middle of winter and um, it's just going to be a perfect little kickoff to um, help me get through the winter uh, for my itch to garden in the summer. I will be using this mainly for house plants right now, but I will be probably starting my, uh, my seeds in it for this spring and summer um, for the outdoor garden as well. Uh, but I thought you guys would be really interested in seeing kind of the setup process. I have a few tips for you um, to make sure that you are doing this properly. And so I'm not going to bring you through the whole thing because obviously it's going to come with a set of instructions. But there are a few key points that I really want to um, point out to make this so that it's the best experience for you and that nothing breaks or anything like that because it can't... It, it's designed to be very specific. <laughs> and so um, we want to make sure that we're putting it up properly um, so that it works the best for us. And then of course, we're going to be moving a whole bunch of plants in here. So let's get started and get it set up. For reference, this is what I was talking about when I said absolute chaos. My brain functions in a very clean and organized state. And so this is extremely stressful, but we will get it fixed. Hi, beautiful. Hi. So one thing that is very important, I did mention that it is December, almost January when we got this. I have been letting this box sit out for a few days in my house um, because it is in the negatives um, right now. And so I know it's going to be very cold and I really wanna make sure I'm taking care of this plastic and not um, ruining it at all. And so I didn't want it to be cold when I opened it and started manipulating it because I didn't want it to crack. And so it has nothing to do with the manufacturer at all. That's just how this plastic kind of works. Um, and so I'm trying to just take care. So I definitely recommend if you're getting this in the winter, so if you go and order this right now, make sure that you let this warm up in your house for a few days um, before you <laughs> rip it open and set it up. We are also not going to stretch it out completely today. I'm probably going to have to come back in a few days and actually get it set up over the greenhouse structure. Um, because again, we want it to just kind of be able to stretch itself out. And that's going to hold true whether you order it in the summer or the winter. Um, you just want to let your plastic kind of breathe, I guess, um, before you really stretch and tighten it. So let's get the structure built, shall we? Okay, so at this moment, I want to pause and talk about these joints. We have it all set up together. But one thing that's very important is that all of the joints are as far as they'll go. So I've been trying to go through, really try to tighten them. Um, really what's most important is the ones on the outside of the frame are going to be as tight as possible because if you do not have everything as tight as possible and locked, um, the plastic will probably not fit correctly. So make sure that you are doing that step appropriately first. Okay, so these are the shelves that it comes with. They sit on top of the bars here like so. Um, obviously, they are not very stable just as is. However, it did come with these zip ties, and the point of the zip ties is to stabilize these shelves and hold them down. So I'm going to be doing that. And then the other thing that it came with is this back um, connecting piece here. I don't know if I'd call it a shelf, um, but it's a kind of like a tool supply so you can hang things from this. So um, it also is going to be connected with these zip ties and then you can cut them to the length that you need once everything's tied up. Um, I'm going to 
wait until I have everything else put on before I zip tie these actually tight um, and onto the spot that I want them to be. But we're going to secure these shelves first. All right, so we got the whole greenhouse set up. I did, again, ignore this mess. I did purchase a little fan and a way to hang up one of my grow lights in here. Otherwise, I do have this really long grow light that I might put on one of these shelves. Um, again, I'm not going to close this door quite yet. I'm letting the plastic kind of still stretch and get acclimated to the environment um, before I try to pull it really tight. Um, I don't want to rip any of the seams or anything. But if we go in here, I did zip tie. Um, you can see the shelves. Um, this makes it so that they're, you know, really pretty sturdy. Um, I did not zip tie this one, so this is pretty loose, but I figured this one's just kind of directly on the floor. So um, we might just leave those. If they're being a bother, I can move them or zip tie them. But um, for right now, it's really not that big of a deal. Um, I really wanted to just get these ones zip tied. And then we do have our little shelf here, which I might put another zip tie here just because it is a little bit loose and wiggly. Um, and then I'll probably come and cut the little ends off of these guys. But otherwise, we have these other shelves here. So I might just start moving some plants in here and getting this decorated. And then the other thing is, I was kind of thinking of stringing some really pretty lights um, along the top just to kind of make this a fun and inviting place. So maybe we'll do that next. All right, I only got my monster in here to just kind of move her out of the way. But the other thing I was thinking of is I have these seed starting flats um, that you put like the little cells in. What I was kind of thinking is like for my plants that are in nursery pots, it'd probably be a lot more stable than having them like on these shelves which the shelves are stable, but the like holes are a little bit big. So I was thinking for things that are in nursing pots and like propagations and stuff, that might be the easiest method to keep them standing up. So I think I'm gonna fill this up with those and then we'll put other plants that are in real pots on the other shelves. Alrighty, so this is the final greenhouse. So it does have two openings on both sides so you can roll the door all the way up and tie it up with these little strings here. It also has a mesh door, you can kind of see it, um, which is what these zippers are for. So if you wanted to just have the mesh, but maybe like if you had it outside and wanted to keep bugs out, it does have that option. It also has um, two windows in it for that same option as well um, to kind of just give it a little bit more breathability. This is the current status of the greenhouse. I was able to get some lights hung up here. I have a grow light bulb hanging down below. Um, here is a humidifier that we have going. I shut off the fan um, so that you could hear me speak a little bit better, but um, I have this just kind of going so that there's some airflow in here. We have just a whole bunch of fun plants like this string of hearts. Um, some plumosa ferns, propagations, my um, Brazil pothos and marble queen, a Norfolk Island pine, a lemon tree that is in desperate need of some rehab. Um, that's what I'm kind of hoping this greenhouse helps with. I have three leaves left. <laughs> um, otherwise, we just have a whole bunch of random Kind of plants in here. Uh, I definitely have a lot more plants that I want to be moving in here, but I kind of need to repot a lot of these ones as well. And especially this um, poly here. It's still in the pot from Lowe's when I got it, um, and it's just one big block. And I really want to see if I have any bulbs um, to be able to propagate from. So I think I'm going to be making a video on propagating this guy and seeing if we get any bulbs from him. Um, we'll see what we get. But I just wanted to show you guys kind of the end product. Uh, they did come with all these little clips. I have my water bottle of just, uh, or just a bottle of water for misting if I needed it. Um, I do have my garden gloves just hanging up, but I really love how this turned out. 
So that is it for kind of this greenhouse setup. Again, this is from Quick Tent and I will be including links down below. I plan on making a lot of videos of the plants and projects that I have going on in this greenhouse. I think I'm gonna start by propagating that Alocasia poly and I have um, a really big um, Pelia peperomia plant. Uh, no, not this one, this one's really tiny, but I have a really big one that I'm planning on repotting and propagating um, like these little guys here and kind of potting them up. This one, I just have some sphagnum moss that it's sitting in and I really need to get it in a real substance so that it can actually grow some roots. But um, I think I will keep you guys updated. I really need to repot most of everything that's in here, which is why it looks a little chaotic right now. Um, everything's just kind of not living its best. I kind of hope that that helps with a lot of their growing issues currently that they're having just because it is winter and dry and um, there's not very much light. So I'm really hoping that this setup kind of gives them that extra boost that they need. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. It really supports my channel. And comment any questions that you have down below. Go give Quick Tent a check. Um, I hope that you guys find a greenhouse that would be really suitable for your kind of setup because I do think that this is going to be a really fun addition into my gardening space. And I think we'll start a lot of season here as well. And so I'm really excited to be able to show you that this spring. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.